everyone, Charles Wallingford back again with another video from the Norwegian and I wanted to talk to you about purchasing alcohol on a cruise. Purchasing alcohol on a cruise is a great thing. Um, on a cruise you have so many things you can do. We, you're going to definitely eat, you're going to have fun by the pool, um, you're going to get on the water slides, especially if you have a nice cruise ship like this. Uh, you, it's little uh, games and, and all kinds of different activities. There's different activities around the pool that you can take part of, getting in, the, uh, in their pool, of course, or the, the hot tub and things like that. And, then, and you got all kinds of other things you can get into on this cruise ship, especially drink. And for me, I love to drink expensive alcohol. I don't love to drink, I love to drink expensive alcohol. And this is a great opportunity to be on a cruise. It's a great opportunity to buy some expensive alcohol that you would not either be able to find or be able to afford. What I, what I like to do, I like to buy from the ship. But you can also buy out on your port of call. So which one is the best way to do it? The port of call or the ship? For me, both. So let's talk about the ship first. The ship has a wide assortment of your, I wouldn't, I don't want to say basic, but your usual, your usual uh, suspects when it comes to uh, alcohol. You're going to have a lot of uh, rums, you're going to have vodka, you're going to have tequila. Uh, they do a really good job of single malt scotch. You're going to find that on the ship and uh, okay variety as far as cognac, but they have some things that you, again, won't be able to get on your regular um, liquor store at home. And the best thing about it is the price. The prices are usually pretty good. But when you're buying on a cruise ship, make sure you pay attention to how much everything costs. My, my advice, if, even though they have good prices, wait for it to go on sale. There's always going to be a sale on those ships on an oar ship like this. Now, as far as port of call, I've been around, I've been to Jamaica, I've been to uh, the Grand Cayman, I've been to Cozumel, Mexico, I've been to uh, St. Thomas, St. Martin in the Bahamas. For me, the best place to get them, and if you have this on your port of call, it's great, is St. Thomas. St. Thomas had some great deals, deals that you would not be able to get all the time. And, and where I went to, I went to Dynasty Dazzler. Dynasty Dazzler in St. Thomas, great, great place to go. Highly recommend it. And the key to it is that not only did they have a great selection of the, again, your usual suspects, a wider selection that's on the ship, but they had Abe. Abe was a more than capable uh, associate given given great advice and a uh, great background on the alcohol that was available. So if you're able to go to Dynasty Dazzler and St. Uh, Thomas, great, great prices, great deals, highly, highly recommended. And that's why I bought two different uh, alcohols. I'm, oh, actually I bought three. I bought a, a Hennessy XO, I bought uh, uh, I can't remember the name of the rum. You'll see it right here. There's the rum right there. And I also bought a local uh, rum mix, uh, cream, rum cream mix. And I, I, that my wife wanted that one, so that's why I chose that. Um, also, going back, I went and purchased uh, Mount Gay XO on the cruise ship. So I did both. And that's because it was on sale. Only thing I do have to uh, let you guys know, if you're not familiar, uh, bourbon. Bourbon selection was very small. There were no Buffalo Trace products or anything along those lines. So basic Jim Beam and, uh, and Maker's Mark, that's it. As far as tequila, if you're going on the eastern side of the Caribbean, you're gonna see more rums. If you're going on the western side of the Caribbean, closer to Mexico, you're going to see more tequilas. So if you're interested in tequilas, you're going to want to do a, a Western cruise. So he, let's recap on what you should do. If you want to buy it on a ship, 
If you're desiring to buy it on a ship, make sure you wait till it goes on sale. Number two, St. Thomas is probably the best place to buy these aged distilled spirits. And lastly, don't get greedy. Don't keep holding out and holding out and holding out thinking you're gonna get the better deal because at some point it will end. So if you can't do number one or number two, feel, understand this, you're still getting a good deal because you don't have to pay taxes. If you don't have to pay taxes, and for me especially, if you're not paying taxes, that's almost 10, 10 to 15% less than what you regularly pay. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I hope this helped you out. If you're interested in seeing more videos like this, don't forget to subscribe. If you did like this, also, if you like the video, hit the like button. Please feel free to comment. And I'm Charles Wallingford. This is how I spent my money.